Yeah. Perception shows kind of like where my mind is. From perception, I knew life was all about perception. The way you feel don't really matter because you're trying to Because when I listen to music personally, without when it's not my music, I go from Bob Marley to King Sonny Ade. I go from Small Doctor to Blake Shelton, you know, and that's what I was able to reflect on my project I never for applause, my grandma had a doubt without a cause. Yo, what up guys? My name is Adam Sibrahim Adebola. I'm from Ogu State, Ibefu, to be precise. I'm from a royal family. Che! My state name is VJ Adams. Um, I'm an entertainer, video jerky, radio presenter. I make music and a fashion entrepreneur as well. Welcome to my episode of My Music. And I. Prison of your own success. You can either keep it real or drown yourself in the world and die a brother who's always trying to impress. Um, so I have an entertainment outfit called Smarter Entertainment. Um, that's where I float um, my music from. And perception was a little different. Perception is a little more vibey, um, more hip hop, but it's quite eclectic. From the Perception album, I have a lot of favorite songs. It's speaking about five of them will be hard, but I'll, but here we go. Let's talk about the intro. Now, from what I just said, you can tell that it's coming from a very deep part of my heart because you see a lot of superstars and then all of a sudden you hear that, oh, they committed suicide. And you're wondering, like, boy, he looked like he was happy and all of that stuff. So I was trying to address that issue for people to understand that regardless of what you see on the outside, people go through stuff. Some people might be able to share it with others, some maybe not. And I spoke about quite a number of other things on that intro. So that intro to the project means a lot to me. It was able to set the tone, you know, to the entire project. So like you barely slept, it's all perception. Number two song I'd like to speak about is titled Where I Know is the officially the first song on the project. It features Zoro, Ola Dips, and lyrical Dr. Smith. Where I know. That song was deliberate. You know, so it was, it was one of my sessions where I called Tweezy and I told him I want a hip hop record, heavy, banging hip hop record, to be the intro of the project. And in less than 10 minutes, he was done producing. And the chorus came through. Where uh, were Lil? So, you know, we did the chorus part of the song. So, that song is very special to me, too. Number three song, special to me on the project. It's titled Kabiasi. And Kabiasi is a song a lot of people would term gospel. But for me, because I'm Muslim, right? When people hear it and they ask me, but you're a Muslim, how were you able to make a Christian song? I'm like, it's not a Christian song. God is love, love is God. And that's all that matters to me. And it was from that state of mind that I made the record from. You know, for the most part, I write a lot of my songs, I write the entire song, but I can't possibly voice the chorus the way I want it to be, so I get too easy to voice most of the choruses. It was very personal to me because I wrote the story like um, speaking to God as a friend. When I wake up every morning, it's the first thing I listen to. Capiacy of my perception. Number four song, and I think you should also check out it's titled When a Man Cries. It's hurt deep inside. He's trying to tell a story. When a man cries, he does with a passion. He's got no one to trust. He's filled with plain emotions. And that again was one of the songs I wrote the entire song, from the chorus to the two verses. Um, but while I was writing the chorus, I could hear praise in my head. I reached out to praise. I asked him, I said, listen, I have an idea of what I think the chorus should sound like. Give it a shot. If you like it, stay with it. If you don't, do whatever you're comfortable with. And then he said, he reached out back and he was like, no, I love it, I love it, I'll voice it that way. And, you know, it's a blessing to have his vocals on the record, I don't take it for granted. And then we shot a video to it in Liberia. Shout out to Avalon. So yeah, When a Man Cries is one of the songs. It's very deep, it's sincere, straight from the heart. Please do check it out. I mean, from the title, you can tell something you should consider listening to. It didn't make me crazy, so tell me where we And lastly, the number five song I think you should check out on my project. Let's tab on Fire Away. It's not pop culture, you're not supposed to dance or 
you know, it's just, it's just my story, you know, so if you care about listening to my story, you then you listen to it, you know. Um, it was the song I spoke about my parents, my father, my mom, my sisters, you know, my brother. I spoke about everyone on the, on the song, so it was quite personal, you know. Fire Always, the title is on the project as well. Go check it out. When I said I could rap, they didn't believe me. So I made two albums and a mixtape just to convince me. See, when I speak my rhymes, I pretty I mean, I've had quite a number of great great shows that I've hosted beyond incapacity on TV or the red carpet I mean on stage. I mean I, sh I hosted the concert, the beach concert in Liberia. I mean I had over um, 12,000 people in, ex in, in attendance. That was was fire. I hosted a stadium concert in Liberia as well. You know, they had the Whiskey and Timai headline. Uh, I've had quite a number of great shows in and out of Nigeria, you know. However though, so we did the perception of um, listening in Abuja and just when I held the mic, trying to welcome everyone. Oh, thank you for coming out for um, to support and listen to new music. I heard a scream, and they were like, "Yay, VJ Adams!" From that table, and then one guy from that part said, "Jaw, get out of here!" <laughs> I was going to lose my mind, but then I realized that he was a he was drunk because he apologized to them later. But that's uh, that's perhaps the only time I felt some type of way. Usually, it's all vibes, you know. Uh, you do what you gotta do and you step out. My second album was ready before the first drop. Rap to me is a revelation. I'm so fing hip hop. I mean, the first is the way I have to kill to prove to you I do this for the love. Not a take a little high. I'm always working on a lot, you know, because I don't like to get comfortable with little success. For me, there's always something bigger to look forward to, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I could see a lot of boys that had potential that maybe all they really needed was just a platform. So I created a project that'll be called Almost Famous. You know, say seven songs, just put these boys on it and just give them some chance to shine. Because the, the challenge I did on Instagram for a lot of people, it was just a case of, oh, thank you for the opportunity, thank you for the exposure, this has done a lot for me. And they didn't even win, you know what I'm saying? I was getting all those DMs and I was it made me a little more excited. I'm like, oh, okay, so this could mean a lot for someone. Um, so yeah, Almost Famous project will happen. And then my, sec my second album, and third projects. I'm working on that as well. Yo, what up guys? They call me VJ Adams, aka Ibro Makanaki Oshie Gilapo. Um, you've been rocking with me on my music and I. Do check out my album, it's titled Perception. is everywhere on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Music Plus, Boom Play. There's something for you on the project. Um, Stay happy, stay positive, make your passion your profession, then work will become play. Whatever it is you're up to the following week, I do hope it's profitable. I hope it does make you happy. Bye.